I'd just like to start off this meditation by saying if you chose to get up out of bed today, if you woke up and just decided that you were going to do one thing that makes you feel a little bit better about anything you're going through or may have gone through, then you're doing something and that's enough. Um, Just sometimes getting up and choosing to do something is enough and I don't think enough of us get told that trying is significant and healing and the fact that we get up and we do these things anyway is a big deal and so I'm proud of you and I hope you're proud of you and just go easy on yourself. So today's meditation, we're going to be talking about letting go of some things that don't really belong to you anymore, that never really belong to you actually. What burdens were placed on you? How can you let go of these burdens and expectations that other people have set on you and how have you let it affect your life? So we're going to dive a little into that. To start, we are just going to breathe in through your nose for 10 seconds. And out through your mouth for 10 seconds. It's important that you take note of anything that may come up during this period of asking yourself, what do I need to let go of? What burdens have I been holding on to that were never mine to begin with? What unrealistic expectations have others placed on me that I have clung to or created an identity out of? So with that being said, whichever thought comes up in your mind first, whether it be something from your childhood or as you were entering into adulthood, just think about it and think about who placed that idea or expectation on you remember how that made you feel remembering to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth you want to remember these feelings and remember the person who placed the expectation on you but you don't want it to overcome your whole body you want to remember the emotion in terms of thought, but you don't want it to progress any further than thought. You don't want it to become full body emotion. You just want to remember. Reminding yourself that it's okay to feel upset or disappointed in whoever placed this, ex- this expectation on you. It's okay to even be a little disappointed in yourself. It's okay to to be uncomfortable. It's okay to think back on this situation and be upset and want to cry. It's okay to to think how could I allow this to happen to myself or to think I was just a child. It was so unfair. That's valid. What you're feeling right now, remembering whatever it is that was the first thing to come to your mind, that's valid. And I don't know if anyone's told you that, but I think you need to hear that. It's totally valid. So now I want you to imagine the older version of yourself meeting up with this version of yourself, whatever age you might be. I want you to imagine grabbing both your hands, facing each other, looking each other in the eye. And I want you to tell yourself it's okay. I want you to tell yourself that it's not your fault, that other people's expectations are just that, other people's, that they do not define you and they do not define the life that you are going to keep creating for yourself. I want you to tell yourself that it's okay and that your feelings are valid and that it's all right to be upset and that it's all right to want to scream and that it's all right to want to cry. And while you're going through this journey of talking to yourself and comforting yourself and confirming all these emotions and thoughts that you've had, I want you to know that it's okay if you feel the need to cry or if you feel the need to scream or, you know, whatever the emotion may be that comes up, it's okay to feel it and release it and not let it stay bottled in and become a full body emotion. 
emotion. That's totally fine. So with that being said, I'm going to allow you to have this visual. I'm going to allow you to have this moment with yourself. I'm going to allow you to have that safe space of releasing whatever it is that comes up. And then I'll be back. Well, I'm back. How was it? How was talking with yourself? How was comforting yourself? How was reassuring yourself that everything's going to be okay? Sometimes, the younger version of us needs that extra support from that older version of us so that we can truly heal. Sometimes, hearing that things are okay or that they're going to be okay from people that we love isn't enough. Sometimes we have to help ourselves in this really sort of intimate way where we go back, where we go back into our minds, where we pull out these things that we we thought we had worked so hard to bury, which never really stays buried because, you know, it affects us our whole lives. Now that you've walked with yourself, that you've hugged yourself, that you've comforted yourself, I want you to look at yourself and remind yourself that one day we will grow into the person that we want to be with the expectations that we've placed on ourselves that are within happy and healthy boundaries that help us grow, that help us bloom, that help us really see the world the way that we want to and not through the eyes of of our damaged childhood self or teenage self or young adult self. It's really important that we just sit with ourselves for a moment and give ourselves this extra love and attention and care because no one else can do it for us. How can we truly expect anyone to know how to love us correctly when we don't know how to love us correctly? 
we have to really get in there and show ourselves this unconditional love it's okay to be upset and it's okay to be sad but we've got to keep loving us and we've got to keep loving the person that we're going to grow into we've all got growing to do no matter what age we may be so as we are coming to an end to this meditation i want you to sit and imagine meeting with your future self and the way we're going to do that is we're going to Imagine a door in front of us, a bright red door with white light surrounding it. You can knock on the door just to be respectful <laughs> first. And then I want you to imagine that this is the doorway to your future. This is the doorway to all of the happiness that you seek for yourself. And when you knock, the door is opened and on the other side of that door is you. What is future you saying to current you right now after that conversation that you had with the younger version of yourself? How is future you looking? Are you happy? Are you healthy? Did you achieve those goals that you wanted to achieve? Did it all start with healing? Did you go through a tower moment? Did you really bloom? What is future you saying? How happy are you to see you? I want you to go through that door after meeting with future you. I want you to sit and I just want you to talk to yourself. I want you to really hear what future you, what higher you has to say to current you. I want you to sit. I want you to calm your mind and I want you to really hear what you have to say.
Well, now that everything's been said, I hope that the future version of you, the higher version of you, has given you something to look forward to. As you say goodbye to yourself and give yourself a loving embrace, I want you to reimagine that door appearing in front of you. The beautiful bright red door with the white light around it. You can now open it and step through and enter back into your body, realizing that you have a lot to look forward to. Healing is a lifelong process. It's a lifelong journey and nothing happens overnight, but at least you're trying. At least you're getting out of bed and doing one thing a day or many things a day that bring you joy, that help you grow, and that help you blossom. I hope I was helpful. I really appreciate you coming to watch my video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!